Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2020 Kia Soul EX, as well as learn about the other 2020 Kia Soul configurations along the way. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2020 Kia Soul, which is fully redesigned this year, has a lot going for it. Drivers in congested urban areas will enjoy its nimble size, responsive engine, and controlled ride over bumpy pavement. Outside the city, the Soul shines with crisp handling and responsive steering. You can up the Soul's fun factor even more by equipping it with a punchy turbocharged engine and a sport tuned suspension. No matter where you live, the Soul's roomy cabin and useful cargo space make it a perfect everyday car. I also like its competitive pricing, which undercuts most rivals without sacrificing interior materials, quality, or feature content. As with any budget price small car, there are a few drawbacks. All-wheel drive is not available, which might be a deal breaker for buyers in places that experience icy or snowy road conditions. And that sport-tuned Soul? The GT Line Turbo suffers from a clunky shifting transmission and a harsh ride quality. But overall, I think the 2020 Kia Soul rises above other subcompact crossovers thanks to its blend of practicality, affordability, and an emphasis on fun. The 2020 Kia Soul is available in LX, S, X Line, GT Line, EX, and GT Line Turbo models. The trim structure is surprisingly confusing, with the X-Line, GT-Line, and EX models all building off the S-Trim rather than each other. The LX is rather basic, but selecting the continuously variable automatic transmission adds a few extra features. Now, the base model LX comes with 16-inch steel wheels, automatic headlights, rear privacy glass, a height-adjustable driver's seat, 60-40 split folding rear seat, Bluetooth, a 7-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, a 6-speaker audio system. The safety features include a rear-view camera and hill start assist. Now, if you get this with that automatic transmission, like I said, it comes with some extra features. Those extra features are an engine stop-start feature, body-colored mirrors and door handles, remote locking and unlocking, cruise control, selectable driving modes, and a storage console under the armrest. So that kind of makes the automatic kind of the choice that you want to go with if you get the LX. Now, if you step up to the S trim, this gets you alloy wheels, upgraded cloth upholstery, and a lengthy list of advanced driver aids. These include four collision warning with automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, and a drowsy driver attention warning system. Now, if you go with the GT line, that adds a sporty, uh, that adds sporty exterior accents, different 18-inch wheels, as we can see, fog lights, gloss black mirrors, a triangle pattern grill, and the leather wrap steering wheel. All right. Now, there's also four collision warning, lane departure warning, and that drowsy driver warning system. That's all standard with the GT line. In addition, you get a sunroof, keyless entry and ignition, a wireless charging pad, and the blind spot monitor. That's all available uh, via the GT Line sunroof package. Those things, the sunroof, the keyless entry, uh, the wireless charging pad, all that's bundled in the uh, GT Line sunroof package. Now, the X Line is the more rugged looking model of, of all the 2020 Kia Souls. It's got unique 18-inch wheels. It's got special exterior body cladding, as we can see down there. It's got fog lights. It's got silver mirror caps, roof rails, and it's got the LX's cloth upholstery and a leather wrap steering wheel. Uh, it does lack a few of the S-Trim's driving aids, but uh, it does have the blind spot monitor with the rear cross traffic alert. Those are the two really important and key ones there. Now, if we step up here to the EX model, which is what we're going to build in price on this review here today at the end, the EX model gains 17-inch wheels, upgraded headlights, LED daytime running lights, fog lights, a triangle pattern grill, heated mirrors, keyless entry and ignition, dual-zone automatic climate control, heated front seats, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, 
a wireless charging pad, a second USB port, a rear center armrest, adjustable rear headrest, a removable cargo floor, and a cargo cover. Now, the infotainment system also gets an upgrade when you move up to the EX, which now you get a 10.3-inch screen, high-definition HD and satellite radio, voice recognition, and a navigation system. All the advanced safety features are standard on the EX as well. Last but not least in the configuration is the 2020 Soul, the GT Line Turbo. This is essentially the, this is the top trim, and it blends the GT Line's appearance package with the EX's features. Then it adds a more powerful turbocharged engine. All right, you also get uh, some different. AT well, it does actually. It, it it does. It's identical to the EX with the exception of the GT Line's 18-inch wheels. Right, and so we can see the wheels that it gets. Then it has the LED exterior lighting. It's got the chrome exhaust, sunroof, LED interior lighting. It's got cloth and full leather upholstery, a power adjustable driver's seat, a heated steering wheel, 10-speaker Harman Kardon premium audio system. Uh, the GT Line Turbo also has pedestrian detection for the four collision system, adaptive cruise control, and get this, a heads-up display. And if you watch this channel, then you know I love heads-up display. Here's the deal. If you're typically driving by yourself or with one passenger, the S model is perfectly fine way to go. For more family or friend-oriented duty, the EX, really, in my opinion, is what you want. Yeah, the GT tur Line Turbo is real nice, but it's a big, five thousand, almost a $5,000 jump over the EX. When the EX gets all the luxury and all the features, the only thing it's really missing is that heads-up display that the GT Line Turbo gets. So, the EX really is the way to go. That said, let's now go take a look at all the features of the new redesigned 2020 Kia Soul. Okay, so in the beginning, I showed these little squares down here. And these squares, they, they're clickable links that tell us a little more information. And we saw there was about, what, six or seven of these squares? So we're going to go ahead and click on these squares. This first one talks about what? Model enhancements of the all-new 2020 Kia Soul. So let's check it out. All right, so here it is. We're going to find out about how we're going to, this new uh, Kia Soul, which actually the redesign is pretty attractive. I don't know if I like this back end. I don't know if I like the window and all the glass back there. But all this along the side and the center exhaust and all that, surely this must be the turbo, uh, looks really, really good. They're saying that they redesigned the exterior and the interior, which is very easy to see from the outside anyway. It's got all, high, all new high-tech features and, and, and this huge glass on this hatchback, which is not attractive but let's move forward it says here dare to be different the all-new soul is not just another hatchback using a holistic approach wow a holistic approach to enhancing soul everything from drivability comfort and even the opening of the cargo area has been improved so first thing that tell us is the transmission with the available intelligent intelligent variable transmission drivers will experience the efficiency of a shiftless transmission that's that cvt transmission we were talking about right yep it is then there's get in, get out. Everything from the shape of the driver's door panel to the expansive footwell has been reworked to ensure entering and exiting your soul is fast and easy. Sounds like to me that maybe they took a lot of the feedback that they got from the Kia Soul because they're popular. There's a lot of them on the road. Maybe they took all that feedback and then made all the tweaks and adjustments, right? And Because that's what it sounds like. They're talking about the shape of the door to get in. These are feedback things. So that's pretty cool. Let's find out about this last toggle here, wide open. So, yeah, if you're a DJ, now you can put all your stuff back here. No, it says, leaving no stone left unturned, even the cargo opening was enhanced by increasing the size of the tailgate opening, lowering the lift over height, and reshaping the cargo area, giving you more usable space. For instance, if you're a DJ. Okay, that's literally all they had to tell us for the model enhancements. Let's move over here to where it says driving enthusiast. Tell us about the turbocharged powertrain. Even though we're getting the EX, and the EX does not come with the turbocharged uh, powertrain, at the very beginning of this build and price review, I said we were going to look at the, we're going to do a build and price review on the EX, but we're also going to look at all the 2020 Kia Soul configurations along the way. This is along the way, and so we're going to take a look at the powertrain, and then, of course, learn about the exterior and the interior of the new 2020 Kia. All right, so here it is. This is the C, uh, this is the Soul GT line turbo, right? This one has a 201 horsepower engine, and this is their sportiest one. I do like it. I do like it 
The reason why I decided not to do a build and price review on it is because it's pushing $30,000. And right around this $28,000 to $30,000 range, there's just a lot of nice cars in this range. And I don't know if I want to spend, it is a nice vehicle, but I don't know if I'm going to spend that thirty grand if it's going to be on the turbo version of this. It might be something else. So it's got a 1.6 liter engine, puts out 200 horsepower, and it's made it to a 7-speed DCT transmission. That is different than the CVT transmission. So it gets a whole different engine and transmission. So, you know, that five grand extra that you're paying, you know, you're getting, they're not just throwing a turbocharger on that same engine. I, I don't guess. Maybe they are. But you're getting a different transmission altogether. So that's pretty cool. Oh, also is this center mouse, this center mounted exhaust is exclusive to the GT line turbo as well as uh, it has these have polished tips and it sits with a unique gloss black rear diffuser. So this uh, area right here is called a rear diffuser. So all of this is unique to the GT line turbo. So they're also telling us that the GT line features a performance inspired exterior with a unique front and rear fascia. It's also got the. Uh, Full LED headlamps, unique 18-inch alloy wheels, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. I think it's attractive, but like I said, I don't know if I want to spend 30 grand uh, for it. And here's a shot of the uh, the interior of the 2020 Kia Soul, the GT Line Turbo. Uh, it's got exclusive black and red interior, brings the performance mantra inside the vehicle. From the available paddle shifters that can trigger shifts in the blink of an eye, to the available 8-inch color head-up display available so it's not even standard so the eight inch display is not even standard so the vehicle is almost 28 grand and we still have to uh um option it with some stuff so yeah i'm not really necessarily feeling that but yeah it's still cool it's still cool let's move on all right so let's check out the urban adventurer this is going to tell us a little bit more about the x line the 2020 kia soul x line so let's find out about that Cladding, it says, a bunch of plastic, right? Make your adventuring intentions known with the X Line's beefed up, textured, and contrasting plastic. <laughs> but no, it looks fine. It's cool. But that gives that does give it that rugged look, right? That does give it the rugged look around the bumpers and over the wheel wells and down here over the rocker panels and all that. And it looks like it sits up a little bit higher. So yeah, the cladding does look pretty good. Here are the unique 18-inch alloy wheels that are unique to the uh, to the X-Line. It's got some rugged-looking tires on there, some really rugged-looking aggressive tires on there. And then they're talking about the matte silver accents. Adding a dose of sport to the rugged-looking X-Line are satin silver exterior accents featured on the front bumper, mirror caps, roof trim, side sills, and rear bumper. Side sills are down here. Right. Some manufacturers also call them the rocker panels. They go by a few different names. Now you know both of them, or at least the two common ones they go by. Here they haven't really said anything. They haven't really said anything at all, but there's a nice big clear high resolution photo. So they didn't really have anything to say about the X line. I don't maybe it doesn't even sit up any higher. Nope. Maybe it doesn't even sit up any higher. They haven't said anything, although it does look like it sits up higher. They didn't mention it, let's put it that way. They didn't mention it. All they really said was there's body cladding. There's more body cladding. But it does certainly look like it sits up a little bit higher than the other ones. All right, let's talk about the design of the 2020 Kia Soul. Eye-catching from every angle. It is attractive. I like how they have the lights set. It looks really good up front. I like the big, strong uh, front end. I like where the LED lights are set up. They're kind of up high. They're very cool. Right? It is bold. Boldly redesigned exterior. I will agree with that. Where style meets technology from the unique soul badging on the C pillar. Right, The C pillar is back here. You can see where it says soul. Right, You've got the A pillar. You've got a B pillar. And then, yeah, you've got the C pillar way back there. To the available full LED headlights. Right, And I told you I like them. They're very attractive. The soul is sure to illuminate the world around. It is very good looking. It's a nice looking vehicle. I wish they would say a little bit more when they give you those little snippets of information. The interior is really, really nice. It's very attractive in there. The touchscreen looks good. I can see their little faux uh, heads-up display screen here. Uh, it's real nice. They don't really say much, though. 
but it's a nice place to be. It's a nice, attractive interior. And they're still not really saying any much about the styling. Uh, iconic, innovative, expressive. They are very attractive. So what is this does say a little bit of something, though. It says, express your creativity and see where form meets function in the available Soul Designer Collection package. Okay, now check this out. Choose from a bold color palette, even offering two-tone designs. We can see that, that the, the paint is different on the roof than it is for the rest of the vehicle on, on all of these vehicles that they're, that they're showing out here. All right, so, yeah, you also get uh, LED exterior lighting and unique 18-inch wheels that complete the look of the head-turning soul. These are pretty attractive, so this is called the Soul Designer Collection Package. Maybe we might do that. That looks really good. All right, let's find out how the 2020 Kia Soul, whether it's the EX, the GT Line Turbo, or any of them, can possibly be a venue on wheels. Why? Because it comes with an available, right, there's an optional 10-speaker Harman Kardon premium audio system and enough space in the back to haul your gear. Right, all right, let's find out more. So giving us a little bit more information, that Harman Kardon system is 640 watts, featuring a dedicated amp, four-door, two mid-range, two tweeters, one center channel speaker, and a subwoofer. Yeah, it probably sounds pretty good in there, I, I would suspect. Check this out. See the music. The dynamic mantra of Soul Hatchback carries on far beyond just the looks and performance. Available interior lighting will allow the interior to transform into an extension of your current mood or a space to create a party on the go as you crank up the music with a sound reactive light show. Very interesting. But there's more. There's mood lighting. It says dial in the available mood lighting just right as you illuminate the interior and dance as it connects with the 3D pattern trim inside the soul. Interesting. Maybe they're talking about these speaker lights. See music come, yeah, they are. See music come to life with the optional Harman Kardon premium audio system with sound reactive speaker lights and experience a light show as you add a new dimension to the musical experience. How does that look when you're driving at night? Is that distracting? Is that going to bring unwanted attention to you? I mean, is anybody thinking about any of those things? I mean, it does look very colorful and beautiful in there. Uh, and can we get it in the EX? I'm sure we could probably get this 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 premium system on the EX because it is the second to highest trim level. Okay, let's talk about the tech on the 2020 Kia Soul EX and the other configuration. So it says bigger is better, at least for screens. Lay your eyes and fingers upon the new available. It's an option, right? 10.25 inch high definition touchscreen offering split screen view. Wow. Uh, two simultaneous Bluetooth device connections along with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. So it's it's got all the features that you most want. All right, let's find out about the UVO Link. It says the available UVO Link makes life easier by offering smarter infotainment through an, through an enhanced telematic suite and smartphone app. This seamlessly connects your smartphone, your compatible smartphone, giving you access to remote lock, unlock, remote climate control, 24-hour roadside assistance, and all of that there. So let's find out a little bit more about that. We've got a few things, a few little uh, points we can click on, a little few bullet points we can click on, learn more. It says, uh, not sure if you locked your doors, so with this available remote lock and unlock, there's never a need to go back and check. You can simply lock or unlock your doors using the link system right from your app. Right or the online portal, so you can do it right from the comfort of wherever you are. There's heat control, so warm or cool down your cabin without ever having to step inside your soul with UVO Link's remote climate control. Simply send a command or set up a reoccurring schedule from the Kia Access with UVO Link app or online portal. That's also cool. Find my car. Also cool. Parking mystery solved. This thing will help you find your vehicle. And then lastly, there's points of interest. With UVO Link with navigation, you can now prep your trip uh, with my POIs. Add your favorite new places and points of interest to your points of interest from the comfort of your home. So that the next time you head out, you can just drive and go. Good deal. I actually like that you can do all that stuff at home because it's that's when it's most convenient. If you can sit at your computer or whatever, do it not when you're like in your car, da-da-da. That's nice. I really like that. 
that would make me actually might go ahead and set something like this up. Of course, we got to talk about the Apple CarPlay, right? Get instant access to your compatible iPhone right from your soul's built-in touchscreen display, whether you're sending a text via voice command, playing your music, or talking to Siri. Apple CarPlay is the smarter way to use your phone in the car, right? And it is. Then, of course, we got to talk about the Android Auto. Connecting to your Android smartphone is simple as plugging into your Kia Soul EX or any other of the configurations with Android Auto. You can send and receive text with your voice, use Google Maps, and access a wealth of popular apps all through your Soul's touchscreen display. Oh, what's this all about? Something with Alexa here. So now that's bundled into that. So Alexa, tell UVO to start the AC on my car, da-da-da. So there's... There's an available through Amazon Alexa UVO skill, so you can set this up. See, I never see the reasoning for all this, so I'm not going to spend any time talking about it. Same thing with Google, right? You can do it through the Google, hey Google thing. And if I remember correctly, this is the same deal. This will allow you to lock and unlock your car. All the same stuff that that UVO link app would do. But now, just to give people more ways and... Uh, to, to interact with their vehicle. They're, they're off on these other things. I think it's all too much, but whatever. That's another feature. If you're interested, there it is. I do like the wireless charging pad. It's optional. It's available. Uh, we'll surely have that on our EX. We're surely going to walk away with that on our EX trim level today, for sure. We can't talk about a brand new vehicle without talking about safety features. Okay? You got DriveWise. That's the 2020 Kia Souls uh, suite of innovative feature technologies like for collision avoidance assistance and stuff that uses radar and all of that. So let's find out about some safety tech. There's an available blind spot collision warning system. It's an advanced technology that can help you manage the blind spots on the side and rear areas of your Soul hatchback. If it detects objects, this radar-based detection system sends out visual and auditory signals to help warn you of objects not in your field of view. There's also forward collision warning, which gives audible and visual alerts when it detects a potential hazard in your path. There's an available lane keep assist system, which is designed to help you stay on the course by monitoring your position in your lane. And under certain conditions, it can even do some corrective steering if it senses that you're drifting outside of your lanes. There's a standard rear view camera that adjusts to dynamic guidelines based on the steering angle, giving you even more peace of mind. So that's standard on every 2020 Kia Soul. There's a smart cruise control system, an available smart cruise control system. It's designed to adapt to your driving environment by automatically, automatically applying the brakes or accelerator to help maintain a predetermined distance from the vehicle it detects in front of you and can even bring your vehicle to a complete stop. So that's pretty good for the price point. That is really good for the price point. All right, let's find out about a little bit of utility. The movers and the shakers. A small footprint on the outside, meaning that the Kia Soul is not very big. The 2020 Kia Soul EX is not very big. Doesn't mean that it's small on the inside. I've actually sat in a few of these, and they are pretty warm, uh, roomy. Uh, with seating for five, an expansive cargo area, 60-40 split folding rear seat backs, and an available dual-level cargo board, you can pack more into your Soul hatchback however you choose. And here we can see a nice shot of that. I'm not going to bother reading that. That's just a little 60-40 uh, seat back there. And, yeah, we can see the room. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can figure out how you can put stuff in the back of these, and they're pretty big. Oh, there's a slide. Let's slide to try. It's interactive. Boom. 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 There we go. Good deal. I like it. Let's move on. Well, I guess I, I thought we were talking safety technology before, but I guess now we're going to be talking safety now. It says active safety technology functions automatically to help avoid problems before they arise, right? This is what the Kia Soul has in it, uh, like systems like the brake assist system, traction control system, tire pressure monitoring, and they're all designed to help keep you safe and keep you on track. Let's find out about the construction of the 2020 Kia Soul EX and its other configurations. It's made with a, a ISO structure composed of advanced high-strength st steel for excellent rigidity. And their manufacturing techniques further reinforce body integrity designed to help protect the passenger compartment in certain collisions. Well, boy, they sure didn't have much to say about the safety. We're in and out of that in seconds, buddy. Seconds. All right, here's what we need to do. 
we need to select our model of 2020 Kia Soul, which is the EX. It's got a starting MSRP of $22,690. We've already gone over everything that it has and what it starts off with and what its basic um, features are and standard features and equipment. So let's get going here on our building price. Okay, so we've got our we've got our 2020 Kia Soul EX. They're showing us a yellow. We're certainly not going to do a yellow. We're certainly not going to do the red. Well, the red's not bad. There's a green. There's a blue. Sorry, there's better colors. This little thing's in the way. Hang on a second. All right, let's start that over again. These exterior colors for the 2020 Kia Soul EX, there's a solar yellow. And then it also tells you that it comes with a yellow, yellow. it comes with a leather red and cloth seat trim, right? I guess they all do because we can see that. Or does it change? Yeah, I guess it does. Then there's the Inferno Red. That comes with a gray two-tone cloth tri-coat. Or you also have the op option of, yeah, I guess that's just a shot of that. Then there's the Undercover Green. There's the Neptune Blue. There's a Sparkling Silver. There's a Gravity Gray. Not bad. There's a Snow White Pearl, which has a lot of options. You can get that. Oh, this comes with that Designer Collection uh, package. Leatherette and cloth seat trim. It's a plus 345. That's nice. I think I might like, hmm, the platinum gold's attractive. What's this one? This one's the uh, platinum gold with the clear white. That's a designer collection. Here, wow, this one's nice. Look at that. The gravity gray with platinum gold. We're doing that. Gravity gray, platinum gold, EX designer collection. Very nice. And that just comes with the uh, Sofino leatherette and cloth seats. All right, now let's check out the packages down here. We have the EX Designer Collection package. This is everything that it includes. So we've got now we have lots of LED everything. Headlights, positioning lights, tail lights, fog lights. We've got a better uprated exclusive 18-inch alloy wheels. we got the EX Designer alloy wheels. And yeah, that's real cool. Let's move on to the options and see if there's any options worth putting on this. I don't know if these options are options or they're accessories. These are really more accessories. Cargo mats, cargo nets. These are called accessories, Kia. But we'll do the illuminated, illuminated scuff plates. We'll do that. Give me some carpet floor mats. We'll do that. Um, we'll do the mud guards. We're going to do the mud guards. I like the sport pedals. I like the puddle lights as well. And, of course, I like the wheel locks. Uh, oops, I didn't get it. Let's go to the wheel locks, and then let's hit up the summary now. Okay, so life started at, at $22,690 for this vehicle. Looks like we're somewhere around $26,460. So we're still under the price of the turbo, and we're loaded out here. We just don't have the turbo engine, and you know what? At the end of the day, that's fine. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me see if I could uh, download this build summary. And if I can, let me find out. Yeah, I was able to download this build summary. So if you like the way that I built and priced this 2020 Kia Soul EX Designer Collection, then you can download the build summary in the description below. Other than that, guess what? We're all done. We're all done here. The 2020 Kia Soul. You know what? I actually did the Kia Soul, I think, the 2018. I should have said that like, I don't know, 25 minutes ago. I'm going to put a link up. Uh, other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up. And uh, this is a nice vehicle. I love the redesign. It looks really, really sharp, and I'm not joking. All right, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to let you go. You have a nice day, and I'll see you on the next video.